The traditional British cafe serving fried all-day breakfasts has been a fixture of the country's cuisine and culture for generations. But over the years, their numbers have dwindled and thousands are now closing right across the country. Polici's in the East End of London has been serving up amazing full English breakfasts for over 120 years. I wanted to know what's behind their lasting success and whether even iconic calves like this are under threat. Hey, you must be Ned. Hey, Lucy. Hello, nice uh, to meet how are you. you? Oh, oh. Should we do that? <laughs> nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are good. you? I'm good, thank you. This calf is a true family affair and it's been passed down between generations since 1900. My dad was born upstairs in 1925 along with his brothers and sisters. We used to come in here before school, we'd come in here after school. It was part of our lives. There's a really nice vibe in here as well. Yeah, we like to keep a good little vibe. It's like when you, like I said, it's like second home for us. It's part of our life. So when you come in here, you're coming into our home. You get like a lot of regular people that come back and they really sort of rely on you. Like if they didn't come into the calf, they maybe wouldn't talk to a lot of people during the day, like a lot of the older people especially. Where the world's getting bigger, you can't know everybody, but in little places like the cafe, it is like a real community hub to people, but there are less and less places like this. The CAF attracts customers from all walks of life, even the odd celebrity. Gemma Collins is reality TV star and presenter who has been coming to Polici's for years. I feel that this is like traditional East End here. It's got heritage, it's got culture. You know, if only these walls could speak, I'm sure there's been a lot that's gone on here over the years. Just that real family hub feel is very rare. And yeah, you, you know, this is the only place that I know actually that's got it. Bernard Copps, the East End writer, said, these cafes, these interiors, these faces give you identity. Life is for real. It is all here and that is enough. You know where you are. Do you think we're beginning to see less of these kind of places now? There are more challenges. Every day there's always new challenges. The price of everything has gone up. You have to put your price up a bit and it don't go down well with the customers. We're lucky, we were passed this down by our grandparents, but it takes a lot of money to set up a, a cafe, so not everyone can afford to do that. You need a bit of backing behind you. We enjoy ourselves as much as the customers do. Yeah. Probably more. Every day, Anna and her mum, Maria, cook homemade food using locally sourced fresh ingredients. But in an area that's rapidly changing and as more big brand chains move in, the competition is getting tougher. East London and all inner cities, I think, are like becoming gentrified or whatever this word is that they're using. And I just think the soul's been, the soul's being lost. And it's a case of like the little guy helping the little guys too. I think that's so important at the minute with all these big, big, big businesses. It's important, especially at the minute, to keep looking after one another, the little guys, because fundamentally that's what keeps the country going, isn't it? Yeah. With, you know, taste buds kind of diversifying yeah. and like we're saying, you know, culture's changing, food culture's changing. Yeah. How are you guys keeping up with the competition? What are you guys doing differently? People have started to be able to travel, you know, a lot more and taste different and realise, oh, you know, it's actually there's something more than egg and chips. Yeah. But some little things have to change, like I say, for example, like that coffee machine. You wouldn't have had it like years ago. These then people don't want to have had that coffee. They wanted powder coffee, frothy milk. I used to love it. We've often thought about maybe doing this, maybe doing that, and then my mum's like, no, and she's always been right. Do what you do and do it well. You have no idea how much I'm looking forward to eating this fry up. I've seen it come past me a few times a day. Bring it all, bring it all. <laughs> this is a lot of food. I'm going to try my hardest. So the places like Polici is still going strong. I don't doubt for a second that the great British fire and the traditional British cafe will keep going strong. The Travel Show, your essential guide wherever you're heading, every weekend on BBC World News.